Hey everyone, I thought I would do a quick video um, just kind of modeling today's writing assignment. Uh, here I have it up already and our on our prompt is spring cleaning is very is a very popular thing to do during this time. Do you participate in spring cleaning? Why or why not? So I went up here and I zoomed in so I could just kind of see better. If I zoom out though, you're gonna notice that, look, I kind of wrote too much, which is fine, I don't want it, I, that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight everything I wrote here. I'm just gonna come up here to this number and I'm just gonna make it a little smaller. I'll start with 13 and see, that doesn't quite do it. So let's try to go to 12. There it goes, that makes it much better. So now I've already written this. I just need to now make sure that I've done everything in our rubric. Remember our rubric states that we need to have anywhere from five to eight sentences. We need to have a topic sentence that talks about spring cleaning and flips this question. We need to have details and transition words. And then we also need to have a conclusion that restates the introduction, but in a different way. And we need to make sure that we are using proper grammar, spelling, and punctuation. So like I said, I've already written this. I just need to now go back and do some editing and make sure I have all of those parts. So I started with my first sentence right here. It says, I love spring cleaning my house. So that kind of flips the question. And then I kind of elaborated a little bit more. Spring cleaning is one of my favorite things to do in the spring. So here I've clearly um, used the same words and vocabulary that are in my prompt and I've answered it. Okay. I love spring cleaning my house. Spring cleaning is one of my favorite things to do in the spring. All right. So now I'm going down to my detail sentences and I start with a transition. I have, let's see, to start, um, I through, see that I need to do some editing. I go through, I go through, and I think I need an R here. I go through all my stuff and get rid of what I don't use or want anymore. So there's my first detail. Um, my second detail starts with the transition. Then I move on to deep cleaning. And then I elaborate a little bit more here. I dust everything and I clean out the kitchen cabinet. All right, here's my third, my third detail. And I start with the transition word next. Next, a vacuum. And again, kind of a short sentence here, but then I elaborate on it in, a, in much more detail. I even move the furniture and get to the deep, dark places I rarely get to during the rest of the year. So I've got three, three details here. And then this is my conclusion. In the end, my house looks and smells amazing. And then again, I kind of elaborate even a little bit more, even on my conclusion. I even feel amazing and ready to conquer the world after I do my spring cleaning. I try to get that word in there again because it, then it just kind of wraps up the whole thing. Okay. So then when I go back to look at my rubric, I can clearly see do I have five to eight sentences? Well, let me see. I have a period here. So there's one, here's two, here's three, here's four. Here's five, here's six, and here's seven. Good, I've got that. I have my topic, I have my details, and I have my conclusion. All right, so I might just read it one more time to kind of make sure it all sounds good. And then I'm ready to be done. Remember, I'm not gonna actually turn this in until I finish Thursdays and Fridays, but I can just close it out and it'll save all my work. All right, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.